Like a doll's eyes here with a very unique piece. It's a um, Bruce the Shark from Jaws eating Quint from a very famous scene in the film. Uh, this sculpt was done by Bill Weiger, a pretty uh, famous artist in the Jaws community. A uh, very talented artist. Um, got a chance to meet him at uh, Jaws Fest a few years back. Like, boy, I'm not sure how many years back, but I'd say six years back. It's been a while. And I uh, bought another piece from him that I'll have to do a review from him. But um, very talented artist. And uh, this is a very unique piece, little mini diorama here. Um, I shouldn't say mini because it's a pretty big piece. Uh, I'm not sure what scale. Maybe uh, uh, one. One eighth scale, maybe? I don't know. I don't know. I'm not good at that sort of thing. Anyway, uh, really nice piece. Really well done. Very well sculpted. Now, I had this piece up in my attic for like four or five years. I'm not sure how long. I didn't have anybody to paint it. And uh, so I wasn't sure um, who to send it to or anything like that. I had a couple ideas. Um, just didn't get around to doing it. Just, you know, when it's in a box up in the attic, you know, you forget about it and everything else. Well, on Facebook, I happened to see a few of these pieces popped up painted by Saul L. Alvarez. And was really impressed with it and reached out to somebody who helped me reach out to Saul. And uh, Saul, what a great guy, first of all. Let me just say that. Saul's a, a fellow collector. He's a big Exorcist fan. has an amazing Exorcist collection. Um, anyway, uh, he was very friendly, really easy to work with. And uh, I got this piece out to him, and he turned around and got this done, ah, oh boy, less than two weeks, and got it back out to me uh, quickly. So um, he did a fantastic job. Anybody that has been uh, collecting for a while knows that a bad paint apps will ruin a piece, and um, Sal did not ruin this piece. He enhanced this piece, and I'm very happy with this piece. It's a very unique piece in my collection, something a little different, and uh, I love it. So... Uh, let's just go ahead and look at some of the details, and um, we'll go ahead and, uh, yeah, that's exactly what we'll do. So anyway, uh, just to show you real quick, uh, just to kind of give you a quick overview. I mean, here you got, you know, the shark coming up on the boat, and we can see here, he's eating Quinn. All right? Really unique, really good, great piece. I've had a few people go, how come it's not more bloody? And, I, you know, I guess I take this as... Quentin hasn't been chomped on yet. You know, he's just slid in. You know, he's getting ready to be chomped on. I know maybe, like, he didn't have the machete at that point. You know, he'd already been chomped on. But uh, there is no sculpting that's showing the that he's been bit or anything like that. So there is no, there is, he hasn't been chomped on yet. People are going, why isn't this more bloody? So that, that's how I look at it. And I kind of like that it's not bloody. I mean, it doesn't need to be. Uh, the, the point gets across. I don't, I don't know. I like it as is. Um, if you're a gore hound, I could see why you'd want this. I, I, don't get me wrong, I like my gore, but I just don't, didn't feel the need to have any blood. Matter of fact, I didn't think anything of it until somebody pointed it out. But anyway, uh, so uh, a great, just to, to, to point this out, a really great Robert Shaw um, sculpt here. Uh, you can tell it's Robert Shaw. Uh, it's really well done. Paints were done really well. Love, love the bandana. All the little details there. Let's see if I can get this into focus. There we go. All those details on the bandana that Joe did. Or Saul, excuse me. Ha. Really, really outstanding work. And they come out, and you can see the paints on his shirt and jacket. Just really, really well done. There's his machete. <laughs> Bruce done very well. Really well sculpted. Just a really cool piece. And like I said, the paint apps are, are fantastic. Just to show you some things here, we got you got the water, you know, Bruce coming out of the water, landing onto the back of the orca. Just kind of giving you guys, here you can see Quint's uh, beer cans floating around. Really good detail, man. Little toolbox. Bruce's eyes, obviously. Let's see here. We're going to spin this around so we can see this is at a little bit different angle here. So here we can see Quint going into Bruce's mouth. Really, just a just a really cool piece, guys. Um, here's his. Uh, there's the life jacket. What are those bayous or something? Bayous, something like that. I'm sorry, I don't know the official name. So a lot of detailed, like hidden 
also, I mean, it's just really, just a really cool piece. I mean, if you're a Jaws fan, I can't see anybody not liking this piece. Um, it's not a cheap piece. I mean, you have to pay to get the piece itself, and then you have to pay to have somebody paint it. But, you know, um, my whole thing is, is Jaws is my main thing I like to collect. I like getting unique pieces like this, and uh, I'm very happy with it. I have, I have no complaints. I'm so happy with um, the sculpt itself. And uh, Saul Alvarez, just really happy with him. Um, I'm going to have him do another piece for me here in a little bit. I got a nice, uh, from the Orca model, I got a uh, Quint 110 scale, I believe he is. I don't know, he's five inches tall. And uh, I'm going to have Saul paint that one for me. And I got an Orca upstairs, and I'm going to put him on top of the Orca. So, anyway, there you go. Uh, really nice piece. Very happy with it. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Kind of a quick video. I don't know if it was quick. <laughs> who knows, I get rambling, um, but really great piece, uh, so hope you guys enjoyed, and uh, check out my other reviews, I have a few other um, Jaws slash Bruce, Bruce pieces I've done, uh, reviewed, uh, done by the great uh, Martin Rawl, okay, and uh, he does uh, fantastic Bruce sculpts, he's working on a 50 inch Bruce sculpt right now that um, I'm looking forward to uh, purchasing down the road, so uh, amazing work, Great job by, again, Bill and uh, Sal. Thank you, guys. And I uh, look forward to um, working with you guys again in the future. Well, buying from Bill and working with Sal. So, all right. Thanks, guys. Thanks for watching. Bye.